Good afternoon, everyone. Vicar Jesse here from Bethlehem Lutheran Church, here with a daily message of encouragement that comes from Scripture. This week in our walk through the Bible, we're looking at the parables of Jesus. Yesterday, I mentioned that Jesus used parables to help explain the kingdom of heaven. Jesus spends a lot of time in his ministry talking about the topic of prayer. Whether he's teaching about prayer or performing a miracle to show the power of prayer or telling a parable to help explain prayer, prayer is an important part of the kingdom of heaven. And so today we're going to look at a parable that speaks about prayer. Our scripture for today comes from the Gospel of Luke, the 11th chapter, starting at the 5th verse. And he said to them, Which of you who has a friend will go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves, for a friend of mine has arrived on a journey, and I have nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within, Do not bother me. The door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, though he will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, Yet, because of his impudence, he will rise and give him whatever he needs. And I tell you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, it will be opened. What father among you, if his son asks for a fish, will instead of a fish give him a serpent? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion. If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? I was reading an article that had a beautiful illustration of this parable, a modern take on it that I think is useful. The writer talked about taking a trip on an airplane. Most of us have been there. You sit down in the seat. The flight attendant comes and gives a speech about safety. One of the things the flight attendant talks about is the oxygen masks that fall from the ceiling. The writer of this article compared prayer to those oxygen masks. You see, we often only use prayer during an emergency. But prayer is more like the oxygen than the oxygen mask. We need it all the time, every hour, every day, our whole life. And that's how we should pray, every day, all the time. And that's what Jesus is pointing out in this parable. He talks about approaching a friend at midnight. He says the friend doesn't give the bread because he's his friend, but because he bothered him at night. Jesus is encouraging us to bother God with our prayer. Pray so much that God just answers. And Jesus backs this up by saying, and I tell you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receive, and the one who seeks, find, and the one who knocks, it will be open. God hears us, and he gives us good gifts according to his will when we pray. Don't be afraid to pray. Prayer isn't only for emergencies. It's for every day. You should be approaching God so much you feel like you're bothering him. Because that's what Jesus told us to do. Pray ceaselessly. God hears you. Hopefully you found some encouragement in these words. Some reassurance. If there's anything we can do for you, please reach out to us via email at office at blcdelmar.com. If there's anything I can do for you personally, you can reach me directly via email at wilson at blcdelmar.com. As always, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.